Hi, welcome to Plus This. Today I'm going to show you how to set up an email engagement trigger. So email engagement triggers are really helpful if you want to stay on top of your list cleaning. And essentially what I mean by that is it's a tool that you can run automatically in the background. We can set it on a schedule where it is once a month checking uh, who has engaged with us in the last 30, 60, 90 days, as well as things like the actual statuses of these emails so you can see like have they been marked as unengaged unmarketable are they unengaged marketable uh, are they bouncing are they hard bouncing all these things that infusionsoft and keep track naturally but would take a lot of time for you to manually pull those reports apply those tags and do that every month or however often you want to run this so this is a way to just do it automatically and then what's cool about that is now when you are sending out broadcasts you can know hey i don't want to send broadcasts to people who haven't engaged with us in over 90 days this keeps email services and those providers like google yahoo Microsoft, all those guys happy and seeing, okay, you guys are a good sender. You aren't spamming your audiences. People who get your emails generally open them. And when they don't open them, you're not, you don't continue to email them. And so your stuff is gonna get better deliverability. You're gonna get seen by more of the people who care about the things that you are talking about. And you're going to likewise get more of those people to convert into customers as a result. So that's kind of the idea of this tool. And then before we just go ahead and dive into the setup, it's really straightforward. Um, I'll go ahead and show you one of our campaigns so you can see exactly what this looks like. So uh, I have two email engagement uh, campaigns that I've set up and we actually have these so we can send them to you if you want one. Just reach out to us at help at plusthis.com and say, hey, I like your email engagement campaigns. I'm setting up one of those and that looked good and we'll go ahead and send you these. So basically, I have one for our statuses like you saw on there. So this is an easy way for me to know who are the people who have bounced, uh, are marked as unmarketable, that kind of stuff, right? And essentially all we're doing in these campaigns is I'm creating one tag that represents those people. And then plus this runs this automatically on a schedule, which I'll show at the end of this, where it applies the tag and triggers the automation basically to go. So that's kind of the idea of it. Um, and then the next thing is we have another campaign that does the same exact thing, but it's for these tags down here. So I'll just show you that really quickly here. Um, let's go to our email engagement campaigns and we'll search. And here is our one on email engagement segmentation. And yep, you can see right here, I just had the same idea, but with these tags here that get applied. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of the idea of it. Really, you can trigger this um, a lot of different ways, but this schedule that I'm gonna show you is probably the best way that I recommend doing it. So here we go, and we start by just setting up uh, which field to look for, and like probably 99.9% .9 of the time, you're just checking the email field, the standard one right there. Um, I recommend just resetting these tags each time it runs so that you don't have people that have those tags and then it runs again and the people who have those tags needed to get updated so but we didn't have a chance to remove them first so it, it can get a little messy if you have multiple tags on people so I recommend just resetting the engagement tags this doesn't remove all of their tags or anything like that just the ones that we're going to set up in this tool um, and then down here you're just going to put in your tags for each of those statuses so um, we have a number of tags around engagement so we have all these different ones down here and you'll just pick the ones that match up with that if you haven't ever set this up before and you just want to do it right here you can just click this plus sign here and you can pick your category you want to put these in and name your tags and they'll just get created right there for you too so that's kind of the idea of it um, and then you can just go ahead and add as many of those as you want you can use these advanced options if you want most of the time I like to just do the ones for the engagement and then um, the statuses that are important. So like some of the bigger ones like the bounces and the unengaged marketable and unmarketables or things like that are pretty handy to know. So you can do it all these or you can do some of these, whatever ones you prefer to do. Then when you click on this, this is where you can do your schedules. So 
Um, here's where we can pick to run this on a certain segment of our list or we can do it on our entire database and then I recommend using the scheduler here to put it on a monthly you can do it more frequently but honestly a monthly is probably a good enough cadence to get the feel for your engagement here um, and then you can pick which when to run this so I usually do it like on the first or second day of the month depending on how crazy it could be on the first sometimes um, and then We'll tell it what time, you can do it at midnight, when we're not really around doing anything, and so on. So let me just put like probably one tag in here so it'll let me keep moving forward. So we're just going to do this engaged one here as an example. Um, and then we will go ahead and give it a name, uh, email engagement test, we'll click save. And then, sorry, the last thing I need to do is the minute. So let's do the on the hour, click save. And there we go. So now it can just run it um, on that schedule like I have here, or if I wanna start it right now, I can just click that button. The other way you can trigger this is in a campaign. So as uh, if you prefer to set up your own automation for this, like we can create in our own Infusionsoft apps, you can go ahead and create the HTTP post and then what you do is whenever you want that to actually run, you'll just put your HTTP post in your campaign for that and put your URL right there. So that's kind of another example of how you can do it if you prefer the HTTP post method. Um, but that's pretty much it. So it's a pretty powerful tool and one I highly recommend. It works for every kind of business out there. Um, and it's really important to do because otherwise, even though you might have the best intentions, you write really compelling content and it's always helpful and great. There's just people that end up falling off the falling off the horse or just stop reading emails. A lot of times that happens like just naturally when a business, you might have the marketing contact and then that marketing contact goes and gets another job in six months and now you're still sending emails to that old email address that obviously isn't reading them anymore and that affects your own deliverability so this is just a really good fail safe even if you're an honest good business and everything um, so I highly recommend implementing this tool if you haven't done it yet uh, the other thing you can do is if you have any questions check out our tool information portal over here for our tips FAQs our config answers and our knowledge base right here. And then lastly, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Our email is help at plusthis.com. And I hope this has been really good for you all. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Bye.